Welcome back to this episode about data types in PHP. The value assigned to a PHP variable may be of a different data type including simple string and numeric types. PHP supports a total of 8 primitive data types. The first one is an integer, we have floating point or float, we have a string, we have a boolean, an array, an object, resource and null. Let's start by talking about integers. Integers are whole numbers without a decimal point. Let's create a new variable called age and set it equal to 24. An integer does not need to be in between single quotes or double quotes because PHP will automatically detect that this is an integer. Let's echo out age. And you can see that the output is 24. So an integer is equal to numeric values. A floating point or float is equal to a decimal number. So let's create a new value and say price is equal to 10.5. Let's echo out price and you can see that the output is 10.5. Let me add some text in front of it. My age is and let me add a break in between. All right, this works well. Let me do the same thing for price. Let's copy it. And let's say the price is price. So strings are sequences of characters where every character in the name is the same as a byte. A string can hold letters, numbers, any special character, and it can be as long as up to two gigabytes. So let's create a variable called name and set it equal in double quotes to my name. A string needs to be put into double quotes or single quotes. Let's echo out my name is. Let's concatenate it equal to Dari. Let's add a break. Refresh the browser and you can see that we just outputted a string. It's pretty difficult to explain to you what the boolean is right now because it's very handy to show it in an if else statement, what we will be discussing later on. A boolean represents two possible states, either true or false. So let's add a break. And let's say that you want to go out for a party, but you need to be 18 years old. Let's create a variable called is allowed and set it equal to true. Let's echo out the variable is allowed, save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the system returns a one. So a one is equal to true and a zero is equal to false. The next video will also be about arrays, so I won't be discussing arrays. I will not be talking about objects and resources because it's an advanced topic and later on I will teach you what they mean. And the last one is a null. So let's add another break. Let's create a variable called variable x and set it equal to hello world. So what we want to do next is let's say that variable x is equal to null. And let's echo out variable x. You can see that nothing's happening because what we basically did right here is saying variable x is equal to nothing. A variable of a data type null is a variable that has no value assigned to it. So if you create a variable, let's say variable y, and we close it, we just created a variable with a value null. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.